Story time about how my father is obsessed with me. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I'm sending me on Instagram. And trigger warning. My mom and dad had me when they were very, very young. My mom was 14 years old when she got pregnant with me. From what my mom told me, my parents were pretty much together throughout the whole pregnancy. Even though they were both in high school, they wanted to move in together and try to raise me like a regular family. But my maternal grandmother had a very big issue with this. She wanted my mom to continue going to high school and possibly even give me up for adoption. But my mom was not having it, so she decided to move out with my dad. Once I was born, unfortunately, my parents just couldn't take care of me. My dad was too busy playing his football and trying to get a scholarship. And my mom just didn't really know how to take care of a child. I mean, she was a child herself. This is when my grandmother stepped in and decided to take me in, which I thank God for every single day of my life. My grandmother raised me as her own daughter and she has been the most amazing woman in my entire life. My parents split up and through most of my childhood, I lived with my mom and my grandmother. I didn't see my dad for about 10 years. By the time I saw him again, I was 15 years old. Part two is a story time about how my father is obsessed with me. Disclaimer is not my story time, it's that I mean on Instagram. And trigger warning. I finally saw my father again when I was 15 years old. From the moment he saw me, he wanted to hug me and kiss me all the time. At first I thought it was normal because he's my father and he hadn't seen me in over 10 years. After a few weeks of him coming to visit me, I started feeling really strange. This was also around the time where I was getting noticed by boys in school. And you know that feeling you get when you know a guy likes you? Well, that's the feeling I started getting from my own father. Every time he touched me, it was like too touchy. And every kiss was just strange. One of the things that really started to bother me was that he liked going to the beach and he wanted to make it a thing. He would always say, let's go to the beach on the weekend, but I didn't feel comfortable with him. First off, he never invited my mom to come or my grandma, so it was always just me and him. He even took me shopping for bikinis, and this is when my stomach dropped. At the bikini shop, he asked for small bikinis, like the type that show a lot of skin. Told him I wasn't comfortable with that. I wanted a bathing suit. He said no and bought me a thong bikini. He stared at me all day at the beach. Part three is up. Story time about how my father is obsessed with me, part three. After he bought me the thong bikini and forced me to wear it at the beach, I noticed he was staring at me. I wrapped myself in a towel and told him I wanted to leave. After that, I told my mom and my grandma how I felt about my dad. They thought that I was exaggerating, but I knew that I wasn't. My mom asked him to never ever do anything like that again and he said he wouldn't. After that, he would always do certain things, like stare at me too much, or always want to hug me and kiss me. And for my own comfort and safety, I put a lot of space between him and I. When I was 18, I finally got my first boyfriend. He became enraged when my mom told him. He told my mom that I was acting like a slut. That's when I cut him out completely from my life. A year later, I got on Instagram and that's when he started following me there. He started leaving strange comments on all my pictures and eventually he started offering me money to spend more time with him. I told him I wasn't comfortable with him. That's when he told me that all he wanted to do was watch me take a bath and that he would pay me thousands if I let him. My grandmother and my mom have completely cut him out of our lives. On the day of my wedding, we hired security to keep him away. And of course, he managed to show up, but security kicked him out. I'm thinking I should get a restraining order. Luckily, my mental health hasn't suffered too much from this. He's obviously an unwell person, but I actually feel really bad for him. And I feel like getting a restraining order is just going to make things worse. What the heck should I do? Bye. My husband won't stop slut shaming me because I told him that I used to strip. How do I get him to stop? Disclaimer is not my story time with Sentiment on Instagram. My husband and I have been married for three years. We actually got separated at the beginning of this year and it was actually good for the both of us. My husband's always been a little bit, um, macho is the way I want to put it. He sometimes has a habit of humiliating me in front of his friends. I actually have a job that pays more than his. And this has always been a problem for him because he feels like he should be the breadwinner. So he basically makes jokes about how I'm the guy in the relationship. Our friends and family think it's totally inappropriate, but I think it's kind of funny. But when my friends explained it to me, it is kind of bad, I guess. I own two e-commerce businesses that I run from our house so i'm essentially home all day recently we decided that we wanted to have kids so we started trying fortunately my husband comes from a family where they believe the women should be doing all the cooking and the cleaning so my husband expects for me to do all of those things and if i don't he tells me that i'm a bad wife he also likes to control how i dress and he doesn't like me drinking a few weeks ago we went to our friend's party and i got a little drunk and on the way home i decided to make a confession that i used to be a stripper part two is up my husband won't stop slut shaming me because I told him that I used to strip. Disclaimer is not my story time, I said to me on Instagram. And that's when I confessed that I used to be a stripper. Right then and there, he pulls the car over to the side of the road. Then he actually started interrogating me. He asked me when I started, how long I did it for, where I stripped, what I wore, what the worst thing I had ever done was. He was trying to get all the tea. Immediately, I regretted it. I honestly didn't think that it was going to be a big deal. I mean, we have been married for three years now, so I thought that he would be more accepting of it. But that's when I remembered he comes from a family where they think that women shouldn't even have rights. I tried to take it 
it back as a joke and he said that's not gonna work. Proceeded to ask me questions for two hours on the side of the road. It was already three in the morning. By the end of it, I was so exhausted I started to cry and begged him to take me home. Then he said that he was afraid of even going to bed with me because I might give him an STD. That's when he told me that I probably took money for SEX. I had succeeded into digging myself into the deepest hole ever. I begged him to forget and he wouldn't. That's when he pulled out his phone and started texting his brothers. He told them everything. When we got home, he made me sleep on the couch. Part three is up. Husband won't stop slut me because I told him that I used to strip. Disclaimer is not my story time instead of me on Instagram. He actually made me sleep on the couch for a full week. And he basically gave me the cold shoulder every single day. He wouldn't even look at me when I talked to him. He would do was ask me for food. Sometimes he'll just come up to me and be like, what are you doing, slut? His brothers told him that I was probably doing the dirty with all of these guys at the strip club. And that he shouldn't believe a word that I say. A few nights ago, he sat me down and started interrogating me again. He told me that he wanted me to tell him the truth. And for me to just confess that I had done it with all of my clients at the strip club. He's actually even threatening to go to the strip club where I used to work to ask questions about me. Mind you, the strip club is like 10 hours away from where we live. He even checked my phone and my laptop. He says that he's scared that I might still be in contact with my clients from the strip club and that he doesn't know what I'm capable of anymore. I've been begging him for forgiveness every single day, but I kind of want to tell him to F off now. Can't take him calling me names anymore. Luckily, my parents fully support me and want me to move in with them. The only thing that I'm afraid of is that if we do get a divorce, he's going to try to take all of my money. I have way more money than he does in the bank, and he knows it. I've been totally honest about how much money I earn. Big mistake. What should I do? My husband just confessed to me that he settled for me. Disclaimer is not my story time instead of me on Instagram. Ugh. My husband and I met when we were in college. My best friend at the time, let's call her Tori. Her and I lived together and we're best friends. We did everything together. I mean, we were like sisters. Let's call my husband Jack. Jack came to school and he was a newbie. He had zero friends, so Tori and I decided to take him in. So the three of us went on to become the three musketeers. He would stay over our apartment so much that we actually just asked him to move in. We would cook for each other, help each other study. We would even do each other's laundry whenever somebody needed help. I'm telling you, we were all like a tight-knit family. But I have a confession. As soon as Jack moved in, I started falling in love with him. But at the time, I never had the balls to ever tell him. You see, Tori was considered the prettier of the two of us. And I never resented Tori for that. But people made it very clear that she was the prettier one. And she was always the one to get hit on, never me. But one night, we all got drunk and Jack ended up kissing me. He actually even tried to hook up with me, but I said no. Part two is up. My husband confessed that he settled for me. Disclaimer is not my story time I said to me on Instagram. That night he tried to hook up with me, but I said no. The following morning, he actually apologized. At the time, Tori had just started dating another guy. I mean, Tori had a new boyfriend every single week. At the time, I wished I could have one boyfriend. While she had 10, I had zero. This is when I started noticing that Jack was a little jealous of Tori's new relationship. Anytime her new boyfriend would come over, he would get in a really bad mood. I asked him if he was jealous and he said no. A few days later, we all got drunk again and Jack kissed me again. Eventually, we ended up dating and he asked me to be his girlfriend and then we got married. And that all happened within a year. Tori at this time had already gotten married to the guy that she was dating. We actually both had our weddings around the same time. At the time, I felt so lucky that I was able to marry the man that I had fallen in love with in college. I was actually afraid that I would end up alone because I wasn't as pretty as Tori. Fast forward to a year after we all got married. We actually all ended up living in the same cities as well. Tori invited us over for dinner to see their new house. During the dinner, my husband decided to have a few too many drinks. And that's when he blurted out, I actually liked Tori before I liked you. I only married you because Tori got engaged. They all laughed at this. They clearly thought it was a joke. I laughed it off too. Part three is up. My husband confessed to me that he settled for me. Disclaimers are not my story time I sent me on Instagram. That's when he said in front of everyone that he only married me because he lost his chance with Tori. They all laughed. I mean, even Tori's husband found it funny. When we finally got in the car to head home, I asked him if he actually meant it. He looked at me and he said, yeah, I liked Tori before I liked you. And that the only reason he hooked up with me was because he was mad at Tori. I started to cry uncontrollably. This whole time, I never thought he had a thing for Tori. He stops the car and he says, but I love you, that he had no feelings for Tori anymore. I asked him why he would think that was okay to say out loud. He said he had probably had too many drinks. Yeah, it's the alcohol's fault for sure. When we got home, I asked him again if he really loved me. That's when he explained that the love he has for me is different than the love he had for Tori. And that he was actually infatuated with Tori. That our love was safe love. He said, just forget about what I said. It was just a joke, I just wanted to make everyone laugh. That's when I realized that he had made a joke at my cost. And it was all to make Tori laugh. Called Tori the next day and explained everything to her. That's when she confessed that her and Jack had been hooking up in college. That sometimes they would hook up when I was asleep on the couch. That they had even done it on top of the kitchen counter and in my bedroom. Told my husband and that's when he said that I needed to let it go. That Tori was part of the past. He doesn't even touch me or kiss me. He's always angry and reproaching everything that I did. Thinking about leaving him. We don't have kids yet. What should I do?